As you all probably know, the Skype app has been removed from smart TVs. We used to have a nice big app right here that said Skype on it, and I had a camera that I bought specifically for this TV made by Samsung, and uh, it worked great. I could Skype uh, to anyone I wanted to on the big screen TV. So last year, actually in 2005, Microsoft bought Skype out and they no longer support the app for the big screen TVs. So you're back to watching Skype on a laptop or your home computer or your cell phone. So I did make a video uh, not too long ago, about six months ago, on how I got around it. Um, I actually used my smartphone and I screen mirrored to my TV and uh, that worked pretty well. Um, however, you had to listen to the voice through your, uh, your, your smartphone, which uh, it worked okay. I got around that by using a Bluetooth speaker and um, then kind of like used it as a conference call. And that worked. Um, you could chat on the big screen and the sound was good and all, but it was a lot of work doing it. So uh, I found something a lot better that works much better. It's called an Android box. Uh, it's a small TV box. You can see it right here. And I'm going to turn that on for you and show you how it works. I have a camera that works very well with this. I'll turn it around like this. It's a Logitech. Uh, I believe it's a 720. It's HD, 1080p. And uh, I got it at Best Buy, went on their site and got it for I think $35 or $39. If you go in their store, it's more like $50. So buy it online. It's a Logitech. Most of them work with the Android boxes very well. So I am going to uh, turn on this box for you. And I'll use a little mouse. And I'll turn the box on. And then change to HDMI 3, which is where the box is at. Okay, so it's firing up. Now this box um, loads onto the TV with uh, HDMI right here. Uh, the USB right here is going to the camera. And the power cord, of course, I've got uh, in this particular box, it's 2 gigabyte of RAM and 16 gigabyte of memory and then I put a, a 32 gigabyte micro SD card in here. This right here is a small USB uh, for my wireless mouse and keyboard which makes it work a lot better. Okay so you can see where it's fired up. This is the Android TV box now. Um, works really nice on this TV. It's very fast and uh, as you can see you've got YouTube on here. Um, works very fast. You'll see how quick that comes up. There's my YouTube stuff, and uh, by the way, it's 4K, 1080p, everything. Um, here's your internet. Comes right up on Google. And uh, here's your Skype. So I'm going to click on Skype. Um, by the way, if you get one of these boxes, make sure that it's a newer one. Um, it should be... Uh, Android version 5.1 or better, preferably 6.0, which is Marshmallow. Uh, they're the ones that support the Skype app. Uh, anything older than that will not support it. So make sure that when you buy one, it says that it supports Skype. Okay, so Skype is up. And uh, you could see, let's see, let me make sure my camera's working okay first. Make sure it's set up right. Uh, there's my camera right there. And there it is right there. Nice full screen. Shows everything. Okay. So we'll go back to Skype. And there I am. And let's see if I could call my laptop, which is over at the other room. And uh, we'll give it a try. Okay, we should. Okay, here we go. All right, so I shall answer the call here. And I should see my living room, which there it is. 
Test. Test. Okay, and over here you could see, getting a little feedback right now, you could see the deck that uh, I have the uh, laptop aiming at. All right, that's enough. All right, so that's how that works. Okay, I'll shut that down. And that's the way that works. Um, very well, I might add. Much better than anything else. And it's all uh, due to having this um, Android TV box. You could pick them up anywhere from $50 to $100. Comes in a box kind of like this here. Actually, this is the second one that I have. But very small. And it comes with your remote control, your power cables, HDMI cord. Uh, you get them right online, Amazon. Uh, you could get them uh, at several different sites, eBay. And this right here, because it's its own computer right there, it's an Android computer, it turns your TV into a smart TV and uh, gives you streaming to all kinds of stuff. It really is incredible as far as that it goes. You've got your Google Play Store on there, so you could uh, bring that up and you could download anything on the Google Play Store. That's where I got YouTube. Flickster is a great app. Tubi TV, uh, and of course, Skype, all on uh, the uh, Play Store. So this is the perfect way to Skype on your big screen TV. Uh, the sound works great. Uh, depending on your camera, everything uh, is in HD quality if you get a good camera. I do suggest you get a Logitech camera because they are uh, the only cameras that work well with the uh, Android boxes. However, other ones do work, but um, I've only used the Logitech. They work good. Um, so this should solve the problem we have been having for a long time, and it's one way to get around the uh, Microsoft um, kibosh of using Skype on the big screen TV. Hope this works out for you guys as well as it worked out for me.